Hello YouTube, it is JGO NASCAR. Well, now I am finally done with schoolwork for the rest of the year. I, I just completed my last round of finals testing today, and I'm basically home free um, from 10th grade. My last day of school is June 10th, but other than that, I am basically free, which basically means I don't need to worry about schoolwork, and that means I can start posting more videos on this channel again. And one thing that I really wanted to post on this channel is a diecast review on probably my favorite car that I got at Dover on Sunday. I was not able to find it in when I in my new in my newest episode, in my newest like new cars video, but now I'm but I was finally able to find it. And helping me with this diecast review is probably the biggest Regan Smith fan on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brody Banna, aka Diecast Reviews. Uh, he is with me today because we are going to be reviewing, like I said, uh, my, probably my favorite car that I, that, that I got at Dover, and it'll be on. Regan Smith's 2014 Briars America's number one vanilla Chevy for jun Junior Motorsports. This was, pr like I said, probably my favorite car that I got at Dover, and Brody, tell, tell us what you think of this car. Well, it's a really nice car, you know, um... I really like it. Certainly a good new sponsor. Not my favorite car of this year, but uh, certainly a very nice one. And, uh, Brody, don't you think this is a very sweet car? It is. It's sweet. It'll, if you buy this car, you won't get Briar's Remorse. Exactly. All right, bad, all right, bad pun time is over. Let's, go, let's do a 360 review of the box. Regan Smith, Junior Motorsports, ages four and up. Uh, this camera will adjust. It says Regan Smith, number seven, Briars, 2014 camera, Camaro, limited edition in the code. Action Gold Series, still the choice of champions, ages four and up. And while and while I open this up, please enjoy the fo please enjoy the following preview. The shell knows all. Oh, magic conch shell! What do we need to do to get out of the kelp forest? Fuck her right in the pussy! The shell has spoken! And here's the car. I have to admit, since this is a new mold, this car, I know Lionel has been like, they've had, they've been really off with some of their cars lately. For some odd reason, I haven't been able to find um, a defect on this car yet. And Brody, could you, would you like to add anything more about this car? Well, it's a very nice car, you know. Um... Like I said earlier, I like it. It's pretty basic. But, of course, you know, it still looks very nice. Very true. So, main colors of this beautiful car are black, green, of course, white, and a little bit of yellow for the spl for the splitter, if, if, the, if the light can focus, if this is yellow. Main sponsor is Briars, America's number one vanilla Chevy Camaro. This I got this car for $8 at a trailer, or at or a hall, or a tent, or as Rob would call it, Gypsy Land, outside of Dover. And, uh, yeah. So, like I said, main sponsor is Briars, America's number one vanilla, Chevy Camaro. Nationwide Series, other little sponsors that they put there. Number seven, Briars, other little tiny sponsors that I can't, that I can't see. Ice Cream, Tax Slayer, other little sponsors. America's number one vanilla Camaro, Briars. Nothing up here. Seven, ice cream, Briars, Tax Slayer, and all that other all that other fun stuff. I think probably the one thing that stands out like to me in this car is how the black and green on the sides of the car like just kind of go well together. If uh, if this if this light can focus on the camera, the uh, black and green really go together um, on on both sides of the car. Just wherever, uh, and same thing on like on like the numbers as well. The set, the seven, the sevens that are outlined in green really like somehow stand out in this car. Brody, uh, what do you think about the design of this car? Well, you know, it's uh, like I said, it's pretty basic. It's just black with uh, a little bit of green on it, but it goes well. You know, the green being a little bit of a darker shade of green, a cooler shade of green, if you will, uh, really actually adds a lot to the car. Uh, it looks nice. I mean, you know, uh, the white ice cream sticks out just a little bit. But uh, still, not too bad. Good, good choice. Good, good choice of words, Brody. Blah. The uh, so the uh, other the other color on this car that is kind of unnoticeable is 
is a yellow. If this camera will will, uh, will show, this is a yellow splitter. And and uh, sorry, that's a. Uh, I kind I do kind of wish this was kind of a green splitter instead because like it's y yellow doesn't exactly mix in with black and green. Although that song, you know, black and yellow, would pro would probably beg to differ. And uh, just like yeah, just like Brody said, just a pretty pretty base your base a plain car, but it's a very as Brody had said a vanilla like yes. very plain but good. So uh, this uh, this number is a white seven outlined in black and green, white seven outlined in black and green, and on the top is a white seven outlined in black and green. Uh, Brody, if I if you had to give this carding car rating, what would you give it? I'd give it a seven out of ten. You know, it's pretty nice, but uh, yeah, there's a little bit to be desired, but still, you know, it looks good. And for me, I would personally give it a seven point eight out of ten. Um, so that is pretty much it. Bro Brody, uh, have anything to say before we before we uh, roll off? This car is spectacular. Thank, very good choice of words, Brody. So that's pretty much it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and tune in for for more videos in the future.